Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to play Lion and the Lamb by Leland, also done by Bethel and Big Daddy Weave. You can find a chord chart linked in the description, you can also find a link that'll teach you how to play all the basic versions of the chords of the songs, and you'll find a third link that just has tons of chord charts if you want to learn some more on your own. We're going to start by going over the timing of each part in the song, and we'll begin with the chorus. So here's how the chorus goes. Our God is the Lion, the Lion of Judah. He's roaring with power and fighting our battles. Every knee will bow before Him. Our God is the Lamb, the Lamb that was slain for the sin of the world. His blood breaks the chain. Every knee will bow before the lion and the lamb. Oh, every knee will bow before him. We have kind of an odd timing with some of the chords. There's a lot of them that alternate between six beats and two beats, which is sort of strange for a 4 4 song, but not totally unheard of. Um, so that first E is going to be six beats. So I'll count as we go through. So E for six. Our God is the Lion. B for two. C sharp minor for six. He's roaring with power. And B for two. A for four. Every knee will be for four. B for him. Now the pattern repeats. E for six. Our God is the Lamb. The B for two. And C sharp minor for six. The sins of the world is B for two. And A for four. Every knee will be for four. The lion and the A for four. Every knee will be for four. That takes us to the intro chords, which are also the interludes. It's going to be an E for six beats, F sharp minor for two, A for eight. I'll do that again. We have E, two, three, four, five, six, and F sharp minor for two, and A, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A. Then that takes us to the verse. And um, I'll do the first verse, which is like this. He's coming on the clouds, kings and kingdoms will bow down. That line's actually identical to the intro chords. And every chain will break broken hearts declare his praise. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? So the nice thing about the verse there was everything was four beats per chord except on the first line which was the, um, uh, the same timing as the intro slash interlude. So we had that um, E for six. On the clouds, kings and kingdoms, F minor for two, A for eight. Six, seven, eight, and C sharp minor for four, three, four, B for four, three, four, and A for four. Who can stop the B for four? All right, one last part of the song, and this one's actually real easy to count. It is the bridge. It's just going to be um, four beats per chord. So we have F sharp minor for four. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? That was an E for four, now A for four. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? And that was a B for four there. So just F sharp minor for four, E for four, A for four, B for four. And um, notice that Almighty is in parentheses. When you see lyrics in parentheses or chords in parentheses, it means you can optionally do them some of the time, but you don't have to do it all the time. So I think what they do in the album, at least the Leland version, is they just loop through it a whole bunch of times. But the last time, Instead of saying, Lord Almighty, they say, who can stop the Lord, and they just go up melodically. So they'll go like, um, I'll do the last two times through. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Last one, where it changes. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Who can stop the Lord That's all the parts. 
Now if you want to stay on this video and practice with me, then you can adjust your playback settings to slow the song down if need be. Uh, I'll play it a little bit slower than the actual recording, which I've been doing this whole time. And um, we'll go ahead and practice through every part, and I'll call out what parts I'm playing to the best of my ability. All right, intro. So we have this E for six. F sharp minor for two. A for eight. We'll do it one more time. Now we're going to do verse one. Line one is actually the same as what we just played. He's coming on the clouds. Kings and kingdoms will bow down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And every chain will break. His broken hearts declare his praise. For who can stop the Lord Almighty? Chorus. Our God is the Lion, the Lion of Judah. He's roaring with power and fighting our battles. And every knee will bow before Him. Our God is the Lamb, the Lamb that was slain for the sins of the world. His blood breaks the chain. Chords two, three, four, total of six, and F sharp minor for two, and A for eight. Now we're gonna do verse two. So open up the gates, make way before the King of Kings. The God who comes to save is here to set the captives free. For who can stop the Lord Almighty? Chorus. Our God is the Lion, the Lion of Judah. He's roaring with power and fighting our battles. And every knee will bow before Him. Our God is the Lamb, the Lamb that was slain for the sins of the world. His blood breaks the chains. Every knee will bow before the Lion and the Lamb. Oh, every knee will bow before Him. Bridge, F sharp minor. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Stop the Lord Almighty. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? I'll end here. Who can stop the Lord? Chorus. Our God is the Lion, the Lion of Judah. He's roaring with power and fighting our battles. God is the Lamb, the Lamb that was slain for the sins of the world. His blood breaks the chains, and every knee will bow before the Lion and the Lamb. Oh, every knee will bow before Him. And of course, to end, two, three, four, five, six, F sharp minor. We'll do it one more time. E. Get ready for the F sharp minor. And now, last A. We'll end on an E major chord. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found that helpful. Feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next time. God bless.